Welcome back to Mix at Three. All right, we're about to get nuts because today, I love this, is National Almond, Almond Day. Day. Yes, yeah. almonds are tree nuts native to the Middle East, uh, and they thrive in warm, dry areas with mild winters like California and yeah. sometimes like here in the South. That's right. Uh, almonds are known to lower blood sugar levels, blood pressure, and cholesterol levels. So not only are they good for you, but are delicious too. That's right. And what better place to celebrate National Almond Day than right here in our kitchen? Mm -hmm. And who better to celebrate it than with our friend, Shelf Kelsey Lucius. Hey. Hey, thank yes. you guys so much for having me. Oh. Appreciate it. Welcome to Mix at Three. Uh, happy New yes. Year. Yes, thank you. Yes, happy 2024. Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> So uh, what do we got today? You've got yes. some great colors here. So um, I wanted to match because they're super cute and it's a little bit kind of like the um, your guys logo uh, colors, but I, like I brought almond macaroons. Um, so mm. these are pretty tedious to make. Uh, we actually partnered with the amazing um, Joey Blackwell of Mac Daddy Macaroons. He supplies all of our shells for us. Yeah. And then all of our fillings at the bakery are made in house at Bottom Line. Um, today I just brought vanilla, but um, as you can see, the shells are just like they have a beautiful foot on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And these are naturally gluten-free. They're made with complete almond flour and then also egg whites in two different versions. You pour some egg white in with the almond flour and then you also make something called a meringue and you fold it all together to make something called a macanage before you pipe them out, these beautiful round shells. All these words. <laughs> We're getting meringue, fancy here. Yeah. 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 We're getting <laughs> fancy in the kitchen. Awesome. Yes, they can be tedious, but I'm going to go ahead and fill some and okay. you guys should try them. They are absolutely wonderful. So uh, while you're doing that, how... I don't know if this, this is a me question or just a guy question in general. How easy or difficult it is, is it to cook with almonds? Um, honestly, there are so many different things that you can do um, with almonds nowadays. The uh, almond flour is probably going to be one of the more um, approachable ingredients. So they're already ground down. Um, you can get a bag of almond flour for, I want to say, around $15 at Costco. Mm -hmm. um, you can make things and make easy substitutions with regular flour with almond flour. It's not going to have the same rise effect. It's going to be a little bit right. more... Um, I would say creamier almost. It's a little bit of a heavier product to use instead of regular flour, but um, they are still, it's still a, just a wonderful, it, it, it gives such another flavor, you know, to everything that you make. You can substitute it in pancakes. You can substitute it in, um, in breads and different things. Mm -hmm. And even mm -hmm. if you're using it as a thickening agent. Um, but the other addition is, I mean, almond milk. I mean, you can right. substitute almond milk for so many different things. Okay. Almond has, across the board, uh, become a, a kind of almost a, a pretty easy substitution for people who have lactose issues and other, um, you know, other health issues. But something that people might not know, and we actually put almond extract in our um, cake recipes and also our buttercream, but almond extract isn't an almond product. It's actually made from the pit of peaches or the pits of apricots. Okay. Really? Um, yes. I was going to ask that because I know people would nut allergies or exactly. something that, that falls into that, exactly. into that play. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So, but um, everything here, like I said, macaroons are made with all almond flour or almond meal sometimes will be the name that you see. Um, a very, very fine and ground. You typically want to sift it out so that you end up with this beautiful, shiny, nice um, shell. And yeah, it's just, it's a wonderful light product and light dessert. Okay. So, mm. uh, when you started making these, <laughs> because you know me, I'm not in the kitchen, I'm terrible with this. I mean, how many times does it take to like get it right? As far as filling them, um, as long as you make the shells well and they're nice and sturdy, they're actually pretty forgiving forgiving to fill. But the the headache with macarons comes into play when you are making the batter. That macanage that I was mentioning right. and the meringue, mm -hmm. if that's off a little bit, they can be such a headache to make. These are very, very tedious, which is why I didn't want to demo it here today. Mm -hmm. They can... Um, um, there's a couple different ways to do it. You can do the French method, which is just simply sprinkling in sugar into that meringue and into those whipped egg whites. And it's a little bit more of an unstable method. Whereas if you do a cooked sugar method or the Italian method, you're actually making a boiled sugar syrup that you're pouring into the whipped egg whites. And it gives you a little bit more of a sturdier shell. Syrup, sugar, she's saying <laughs> the right words. But you see, cooking is a science. It's very yeah. much well, science. Baking okay. and everything is a science. Right? I yeah. That. I wouldn't say that these maybe are too great for your cholesterol but they're very tasty. <laughs> well, that's what I'm all about. I'm ready to taste them. Before. I am there too. I am too. I love the color. They're very, they're, they're super fun. I'm an equal opportunity color person here on this. So, uh, all right. we'll if people want to buy guest, this, Kelsey, where can they go? Oh, thank you. Of course. Um, so we have macarons available all the time at Bottom Line. You can place a pre-order. We do, um, these colors are a great example of like a boy baby shower that we do. Um, gender reveals and things like that. Um, show this. Look. <laughs> very, mm -hmm. very creamy, mm -hmm. super delicious. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm. It's so good. Now this is mm -hmm. this is what I'm talking about. I love the color inside. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, and some so folks good. don't understand mm. that the <coughs> shell color has nothing to do with the flavor. The shell mm -hmm. colors are just for fun. You can do a color for pretty much anything, even rainbows. Um, but the shell color isn't actually, the shell itself isn't flavored. It's just that beautiful almond nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. The filling is going to be where you get your flavors from. Well, mm. you said the mackinac, right? Exactly. Yeah. I love the texture to it. It's very, very pillowy. It's, it's, it's like a... If you've ever had like a meringue candy, it's a little bit like that, but it's yeah. almost mm -hmm. chewy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. I love almonds. I, um, to my mouth <laughs> I have almond milk on my protein shake every morning, and I feel it's light on my digestive yes. system. Yes. I love it. So I'm all for it. Almond, almond flour, like yes. you mentioned. But this is delicious with almonds. I need some yeah. milk to dip it in right now. <laughs> what yeah. I need. Um. Definitely a great coffee and uh, mm -hmm. tea um, cookie for sure. Yes. Kelsey, thank you so of course, much. Of course, thank you so much for really having delicious. me. Of course. Yeah. We got a few more. I know, celebrate <laughs> National Almond Day. That's right. <laughs> However you can. So happy National Almond Day. Right? Yeah, and we'll be right back.